What's good everyone, it's Zigzag here and welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. I am working on a GeoGuessr mod with my friend Miracle Whips and I'm going to explain to you guys how it works today and what exactly the goal is, but I think the best way to show you guys is just to get straight into a game here. So let's go into a no moving diverse world game and I'll show exactly how this thing works. So we load into the first one here, should be somewhere in Canada or something like that. Essentially this mod changes the scoring system in GeoGuessr. I think the easiest way to show you that will just be guessing here and showing you how it works exactly. So I'm going to go on Manitoba here. Ends up being all the way over in Ontario, but check this out. So it gives you 50% of your score from your normal GeoGuessr score. So that would be 2,278, but it also gives you a country score. So my proximity in the scale of the world was 46% according to GeoGuessr, but within the country, because Canada is so huge, I'm actually 80% close here. And so I get a 3,994 score there as well. And so because we have a 50% ratio here, here and a 50% ratio here, we actually end up with a score of 3,136 instead of 2,278. So essentially this mod heavily biases big countries as opposed to small countries. So let's imagine we got a round in Malta and it was in Zebug up here. Imagine however that I guess all the way down here. Now I'm of course going to get a 4,900 score because it's Malta and it's super tiny, but I'll only get 2,500 points from that. Whereas for the country score, I'll get a score of essentially zero because I'll be on the wrong side of the country. So essentially this mod is all about region guessing and trying to compensate people properly for their good scores on bigger countries. So let's get straight into it here and uh, see more of how it works. So here we are, we should be somewhere in Hong Kong here, I think. So this is going to be interesting. I'm actually not sure how the mod will deal with Hong Kong at this stage. Obviously, America Whips is the one behind developing this, so I don't understand the back end of it all that well. But so let's just guess over here in Hong Kong. It was over here. So let's see how many points it's going to give us for being 20 kilometers away. So you can look at this, look at this, look at this. So yeah, the mod must be pro CCP because it's counted China as Hong Kong here. We've basically got a perfect score for our GeoGuessr score. And then of course, basically a perfect score for China because it's thought our guess was really, really good in the grand scheme of things here. But of course that can be addressed in updates. Here we are in a small country again, this time we're in Israel. So this one's going to be much more interesting. So I would say we're probably in Tel Aviv here or something like that. I don't really think it's all likely that we're all the way up in Safed here. So I'm going to guess there and we'll see how many points it gives me, even though we're probably somewhere down here. And so yeah, it was in Tel Aviv. So we get 4,600 points for the normal score, but look at this. We only get 1,500 points for our proximity guess in Israel, because yes, we are decently close. I mean, if we had have guessed all the way down here, it would have been worse. But yeah, on this occasion, we're actually ending up with a lesser score than we would have in GeoGuessr. So that is kind of how this mod is working. If you're interested in helping us out with the Zigzag Miracle Whips score mod, then I'm going to make a Discord server where you can talk with me and Miracle Whips because we do have some issues to iron out as you saw with the Hong Kong round. But uh, yeah, let's just play a little bit more here and we'll see if we can actually pull together a nice score here. So this one should be somewhere in Sweden, obviously with these signs. I would say it's somewhere in the South. Let's see if we can actually get a closer country score than our normal GeoGuessr score here. So I'm going to go there. Ends up being 245 kilometers away for 4,300 points. And the country score is 2,099, which is actually just below our normal score. So this distance away in Sweden is netting us basically the same total as we, what we would have gotten in a normal round anyway. So guys, what do you think of this mod? Do you think it's actually going to be a lot of fun to play? I think when we implement it properly, the 10 second no moving planning or zooming category will be completely different because instead of hunting for a ton of small countries, you actually just have to get really nice region guesses, etc. I think there's a lot of potential in this mod to be a whole lot of fun and to shake up the competitive scene in terms of high score games. I really do. Anyway, here we are in Ghana and uh, let's just go for the most accurate guess we can here. Obviously Ghana, a pretty small country. So actually it was all the way in the South here. So here's one, we got 4,000 points, but look at that only 980 out of 2,500 for the region guess. Okay. So that was a 20,000 game for my next game. I'll get my editor poison to tally my score from the mod versus my normal score in GeoGuess. So let's see if I'm actually able to get a higher score on the country redux mod. So here we go. Let's uh, play Let's play no, no moving panning. I'll zoom in on this one. So this one should be somewhere in Australia. I think it's Victoria. So I'll just kind of go central Victoria here, maybe around here. Let's see if I'm right about that. Ends up being 64 kilometers away. So we get 4,800 points normally. However, we get 4,894 points uh, with the mod because our region guess was 99% accurate. So that feels pretty good. So especially because Australia has overseas territories, it's thinking Australia is bigger than it is. So that actually would be a little bit lower uh, when the mod is fixed up a bit. But okay, here we have a really interesting Columbia. It's quite dry. So I'm thinking this is fairly northern, but in the mountains somewhere. Why don't we try somewhere around here? Let's go for that. 
ends up being a decent guess here. So we get 4,300 as our score there, 4,300 as our score here as well. In fact, we were 86% accurate, uh, both in terms of the country and in terms of the world. So that does make a lot of sense, especially because Colombia is another one of these countries that has outside provinces. So that's gonna also increase the score. Okay, next one here should be Belgium or France. I'll probably just guess the border between the two countries. Actually, no, I think, I think it actually might be Belgium. So let's go for Belgium. I'm not sure what happens if you get the country wrong. And so, whoa, it was in Belgium. A really, really nice guess. So uh, we don't have to find that out just yet because we got a basically... Oh, interesting. Okay, so here's a great example, right? So Belgium, a small country. We get a really nice guess here, just 21 kilometers away. But actually, our GeoGuessr score is higher than our country score. So we end up with a slightly lower score here because this mod really puts emphasis on you being able to region guess small countries. If we guessed on the wrong side of the country here, it would have been over for our score, essentially. Now, there's definitely some room for tweaking there. And this is why it inc incorporates 50% score here 50% score here. But yeah, pretty interesting. So I think the totals are going to be really close so far. And it all comes down to how well I can guess in these last two rounds. We've got a yellow outside line here. So I wonder if this could be Israel. I also immediately thought of Albania here. So I wonder which of the two it would be. I think it actually might be Albania despite this uh, yellow outside line. I think that's what I'll try. It doesn't quite feel Israeli to me. So let's go near Tirana here. And it ends up being over in North Macedonia. So without a correct country, the country score is of course zero. And so 2,288, this puts a real premium on getting the country correct. And so yeah, 2,288, that makes a lot of sense. We should definitely be behind in terms of modern score versus um, norm score. This one, I believe, has some check signs and the architecture certainly checks out, no pun intended. So let's go in here and I think I will go somewhere on the southern border here. Hopefully I can get a nice region guess here. And it was actually on the northern border, but we're kind of on the right half of the country. So let's see actually what it wants to say here. So our geoguessing score is 91%, but our, so 4,500, but our country score is 3,200 at 66% accuracy, which is fair enough. Okay, so there we go. That was a 23,000 game, actually a pretty good no moving, panning or zooming game, uh, but we only got however many points uh, up on the screen right now because of the missed country and because of, you know, for example, Belgium being such a small country. So it really is the case in this mod that you actually want big countries rather than small ones, which I think is a fun change up because it actually rewards a lot of the best guesses. All right, let's do that one more time here to uh, finish off this mod showcase. See if we can actually get a higher country score than total score. Okay, so this one should be somewhere in Taiwan. That is not good news for this mod. We're gonna have to be super accurate here. We have mountains to the south there. This feels kind of southern to me anyway, so I might try like somewhere over here where we'd have mountains to the south, hey? I'm realizing there are actually not too many places in Taiwan with mountains to the south that would actually be satisfactory here. We could try here as a nice hedge, otherwise we could go further north, but I'm gonna try there. And it ends up being, okay, a little bit further north, unfortunately. So even though we got 4,700 points here, we only end up with 4,600 here. That's what's interesting, because Taiwan is another one of these countries that has overseas islands, Pengu and Kinmen County. And so it's actually counting Taiwan as a bit bigger than it actually is. And so our region guess is actually 92%, which probably should be more like 70% or maybe even 60%. But okay, we'll take it. We, uh, we end up with a fairly similar score on round one there. And this one is going to be Turkey with this black and white road. And so I'm wondering where in the country to guess here. I think it probably kind of feels more like Southern here. So I'm kind of thinking of like Adana area or like around here as well. But I think I'll go around Adana here. And yeah, it was actually around there. Like I said, it might be. So 4,000 points here. But uh, our country score is not too bad. 3,600. Turkey's pretty big. So even though they're that far away, uh, it's been pretty forgiving for us here. And so 3,800 is not too far behind what we would have had anyway. Anyway, okay, next one here, we're back in Taiwan. So let's see if we can region guess correctly uh, like we kind of did last time. Uh, we've actually got low camera here. So I, I could almost consider going on one of the offshore islands, but let's go, let's go just in the south of the country here. And it ends up being a good guess this time. So 40 kilometers away, we actually may get a high score here. We actually end up with just a lower score on, in, to in total on the uh, modded version, but pretty good seed so far. And the next one's gonna be somewhere in Ghana. Again, we kind of saw Ghana before here. So, oh, this is Nigeria, is it? We got a Nigerian flag on there, but no, I do think this is Ghana because the yellow number plate. And so, where to go in Ghana? Fairly southern, I would say. Uh, could be a similar area to the last one, actually. Let's go outside of Accra this time, and it ends up being outside Kumasi instead, so 4,500. And what kind of score are we going to worth here? So, so we get 4,064 instead of 4,500, and that is because the country score is 72%. Okay, so not too bad there at all. And the next one here is going to be somewhere in 
Sweden. And so Sweden, again, another country we've seen, is going to be fairly hilly here though. So this is a bit of a different round. I think this is quite far north, honestly. I could see this being all the way up here or something like that. How do I feel about the trees? Yeah, I think this is quite far north. I'm going to try that. Let's see if it's a good region guess. It's up being not too bad. It is kind of in the north of the country. And so we end up with 4,100 with only 4,054 for the total there. So again, just a little bit lower. The country scores 78%. So I do think getting a 24,000 on this mode will be certainly tougher uh, because we got 22,000 there, but it probably would only have been like a 21,500 or something. You'll see what the actual score was. But well, the point being that it's definitely a little bit harder to get a fantastic score on this. It's the type of mod where chasing a high score can be a lot of fun, very rewarding, and a little bit different to the normal seed hunting that GeoGuessr normally involves. This will be just purely about the best guesses inside countries. So guys, I think I'll end off the video there. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the mod. Do go ahead to volunteer and help over in the Discord if you so wish. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Till next time, goodbye.